Hello guys, got an old laptop laying around that's way too old to use or too slow. Don't toss it yet, just yet. I will show you how to turn it into a fast clean machine using something called Chrome Flex. So we open a Google Chrome and then what we will do we have to just right here Chrome Chrome Utility Recovery and it's, it's an extension of course we have to go to Google first and then over here we do Chrome Utility Recovery it's an extension so what we do we just do add to Chrome add extension and then it will pop right here next to the extensions after we got that ready so we open the extension right here and then we do get started after that enter the model number so we do select from a list manufacture over here we just use Chrome Google Chrome Flex and then Chrome OS Flex continue and then over here it says no USB so I will be putting my USB now I will be showing you step by step how to do it Alright, so I inserted the USB and then we select the USB it has to be minimum of 8 gigabytes. So the one I'm using uh, It's 128 So uh, and then over here it says I will, will erase everything on the USB So make sure that you don't need any data from it and then we do create now I will pause it just till it completes Alright, so once it finishes download it will took around I would say 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, that's how we should do just do done and then what we will do is over here we go on to eject we ejected the USB and now I will show you how to boot your old laptop from that USB this is the USB we created as you see over here it's Windows so we just insert the USB and it's on this side set to the USB and we will do is restart this one is not that very old and slow but uh, just to demonstrate and show you guys so once you restart depends on your module of and make of the laptop some of them are escape some of them are f1 f2 f12 f9 and delete and it will show over here at the bottom which one you have to choose Okay, as you see over here was start starting. So over here right now we see startup menu for F1 to see system information, F2 system diagnostics, F9 boot device option, which is the one we need, and then F10 for BIOS setup, F11 system recovery. Enter just to continue with Windows, the one we have already installed, or any operating system you already have installed on the laptop. So the one we will choose over here is F9 for the boot device option. And then over here, we're going to see OS Boot Manager, which is the Windows Boot Manager, the one already installed. And then over here, we see USB hard drive, wherever you will name your USB, you will see it. So mine is the name of the, make, of the maker, which is Kingston. That's the brand. So we select it, press and enter. And we just have to wait for the system to be initializing and installing. All right, so as you guys see over here, it shows Chrome OS Flex. So basically, it's already read the system on the USB. All right, so after the system installs, we say well, welcome to Chrome Flex, and then just do get started. And then over here, there is install Chrome OS operating system Flex, or try it first. So you want to try it and then install it, that goes up to you. I will just install it right now. So next. And then uh, over here, we just do install Chrome, Chrome OS Flex and then install. So as, as we, you guys probably won't be able to see it, but over here it says it might take up to 20 minutes. So I'll fast forward the video or pause it and then after the downloads, we'll continue. All right, so after the, it took around 10 minutes, not 20 minutes. And it says restart, but basically what I did is power it off. So I had to power on, power the laptop back on, 
manually so i powered the ROM and then now it's saying connect to a wi-fi so i'm gonna connect to my wi-fi put in my password okay i can connect so over here there is three options for personal use for a child for work we will go with with personal use and then next just checking for updates over here we go next now it's asking us to log in with our google account so basically it will be your gmail all right so after you put in your email and password uh, just do accept and continue and then accept and continues for the terms and agreements accept and continue and then over here you, there is create a password for this chromebook or use google account password personally i would go with uh, separate passwords for this chromebook so now you put the password i'm just going to do one two three four five six seven eight just for testing and then one two three four five six seven eight and then we go next your password is set we go next all right over here what will you use your chromebook for so i believe if you select it it will just give you the necessary uh, tools and apps that you need but i'm just gonna do a skip for now since it's just a tutorial and then we go next over here change touchpad change display and text size select light and dark theme so we'll just go with the dark theme in here and the next and then we dark theme next and then you're all set we get started okay i will close that just to show you how the desktop so this is how is it gonna look and if you guys need any more information of how to use it or if you want to do a specific thing if it's possible to do it on chrome flex please leave it in the comments and i will get back to you Thank you for watching, have a good one.